Welcome back. So in the current session I want to quickly demonstrate two ways to define regions of interest for data extraction. One is by opening um, a statistical object and I will start with the GLM and quickly run a correlation. So um, I select age as the covariate and the current contrast is which I want to use and I click compute current. This produces two maps. One is the actual correlation map and um, the other is the intercept map, which is the main effect after taking the correlation into account. Um, for demonstration purposes, I will now lower the threshold slightly so that I will actually find uh, hopefully a nice cluster to do this with. And uh, yeah, this might, might be uh, a good one because I can see that it both is uh, um, available in the main effect and in uh, the correlation. So the first thing I want to do is um, I want to see the overlap and for this I will quickly compute a conjunction by saying conjval p1 and 2 with a dollar sign and since one is a correlation and the other as a tmap, I have to use the conjval p function and p values. This will take a little longer, but once this is run, I will then see um, the overlap between the two maps. Um, if I now want to find this as uh, um, my cluster of interest, I can first threshold the map a little further with um, a size threshold so that very small clusters disappear. Then I click the cluster table and make sure that I go to the uh, cluster that I want to, which is this one. And then um, if I further want to restrict the selection around this cluster, um, let me first delete all the other clusters in the list because they're not really of interest. Um, then I can click this button which restricts the um, size of the cluster to a sphere of a given radius around the peak voxel. So this has removed three voxels from the cluster, which are supposedly these three. If I then want to visualize this cluster again, I first deselect um, the map so that um, nothing is selected. Then I can click on the cluster, and then um, I have two visualization options. One is to uh, um, change the color code of the uh, object that is displayed, or I can actually create an overlay object um, and I'm doing this by adding by um, using a negative resolution. Since the statistical object was in a three millimeter resolution, I uh, use minus three. This will create an additional object which um, shows me then where this cluster is. And I can now, if I click into the data set, see this is the cluster that I have to find. Whenever a GLM object is uh, um, selected and I click on a cluster, it will automatically extract values from this cluster and make them available here. It extracts values for all subjects and all conditions which you can easily export into Excel and from there do uh, any kinds of statistics or I can then also put them into SPSS and run any additional statistics I want. Okay, the other way to define um, clusters would be to actually uh, um, use the drawing tools and for that I will now um, First of all, deselect this, and then I will um, change, uh, um, or, or I will create a, a copy of the object so that I can safely um, use for painting by going to File Clone Slicing Object. This will make a copy of the currently selected VMR, and I can then use the drawing tools by selecting um, a sphere size, and then simply painting into this. VMR, and if this is roughly the uh, VI that I want, and of course I can refine this, then um, I click the ROI button and then can give this a name. Let's say left anterior insula. And once again, if uh, a GLM is selected and I click into the VI, it will automatically update this. So these are really the two major ways to uh, um, define ROIs in the GUI. And of course, there are possibilities um, to define ROIs on the command line, but I'll show that another time. Thanks for watching.